It's pretty hot right now, so heating your home is probably the last thing on your mind. However, come winter, that may well change. A group of researchers led by Professor Shinichi Okoshi from the Department of Chemistry have discovered a way to store heat, a bit like the way a battery stores electricity. Their long-term heat storage ceramic can store heat energy between 38 and 67 degrees Celsius, ideal for many residential and industrial purposes. The ceramics would be fed by waste hot water from nearby power stations and can be transported to different locations. When the stored heat is needed, the ceramic can release it by applying physical pressure. At present, hot water byproducts from power stations are often just dumped into rivers, which can adversely affect the surrounding ecosystem. As this heat storage method makes use of that untapped hot water, it could help out the local environment as well as make homes and industry more efficient. Are you particularly musical? If so, there may be something special about your brain. There has been much research into how the brains of musicians differ from those without musical skills. The latest study from the International Research Center for Neurointelligence by Tatsuya Daikoku and Masato Yumoto adds some interesting findings to this field. They gathered test subjects who were not musicians and those who were trained in either Western classical music or Japanese classical music such as gagaku. The researchers gave test subjects a musical listening exercise during which they recorded various brain signals. These brain signals revealed how well different individuals could predict upcoming changes in the musical patterns played to them. Because of this, the researchers could easily tell apart the musicians from the non-musicians. But a deeper look into higher order signals revealed differences between the musicians trained in Western classical music and those trained in Japanese classical music. This research has further implications for studies of cultural impact on learning and brain development. The researchers themselves hope their work will inspire people to explore and appreciate Japanese classical music. Supernova explosions are the epic death throes of giant stars. In just 10 seconds, a supernova expels 300 times as much energy as our sun could emit in 10 billion years. 99% of that enormous energy comes in the form of neutrinos. Subatomic particles so small and light they pass through ordinary matter as if it wasn't even there. These so-called supernova relic neutrinos can tell us a lot about supernovae, which in turn can tell us a lot about the universe, so it's no wonder researchers will go to great lengths to study them. One of the most elaborate ways to explore the world of neutrinos is with the Super Kamiokande Neutrino Observatory in Western Japan. Super Kamiokande is a giant cylindrical tank one kilometer underground holding 50 million liters of pure water and surrounded by 13,000 optical sensors. These sensors detect minute flashes of light as neutrinos pass through the Earth and on occasion interact with water molecules in the tank. An upgrade to increase the visibility of certain neutrino interactions has just taken place. Technicians achieved this by adding several tons of a compound based on the element gadolinium. Professor Masayuki Nakahata from the Institute for Cosmic Ray Research and his international team expect the amplifying effect of the gadolinium will help them observe supernovae throughout the universe that took place billions of years ago.